so here's a question that uh, one of my students gets stuck on, and it's uh, basically finding the area of the shaded region in the sector. So here you have to look at two things. You have to look at finding the area of the whole sector first. And then once you finish with that, then you need to find the area of this triangle right here, and then subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the whole sector, and that will give, leave you with the area of this blue shaded region. Um, so the area of a sector, there's a formula right here that you could use and it's straightforward. So A is the area, theta is the angle in between the two lines right here, and then R is the radius. And since this is a semicircle then, or you know, it's a sector of a circle, then this is definitely the radius right here. So um, let's uh, find out the area of that first. So the area of the sector equals 120 over 360, times pi times 10.4, which is the radius squared, which equals, see this would cancel. That's one, that's three. You don't need to do all of that. You could just plug it into your calculator. Um, and that give us 113.3. Three to one decimal. Um, now we need to find the area of this triangle. Of course, uh, this is a grade 10 student that sent me this and you haven't done the sine law and all of that stuff for non-right angle triangles. And this is a non-right angle triangle. So for you, you don't have a base, you know, the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle would equal um, base times height divided by two. But the problem here, you don't have a you don't have a height and a base because a base and a height always they make a 90 degree and here it's 120. So what you need to do here, you need to br bring a vertical from here all the way to there. And therefore now This would be 90 degrees. This angle will be split into 60, 60 degrees. And at this stage now I could find out what the height is right here using uh, trigonometry. So basically what we're doing, we're using this angle that's the 60. We're looking for the height here, which is adjacent and we're given the hypotenuse. So we'll use the cosine so cos 60 equals h over 10.4. And then I could just cross multiply the 10.4 and the cos 60 there. So 10.4 times cos 60 gives me 5.2. So the height here is 5.2. So now I know this is 5.2 right here. The next thing I'm going to do is find, because you, you want to use this as the base if you're finding the area of the triangle. So now we need to find out what that is. And to find out what that is, I could just use Pythagoras. And since I'm given the hypotenuse and I'm given one of the legs, then Pythagoras will be very easy to find the missing side. So if I'm going to call this here X, then X would be just the square root of 10.4 squared minus 5.2 squared. Go ahead and use A squared plus B squared equals C squared if you like. But for me, I know if I'm finding a leg instead of the hypotenuse, then I, that's what I do here. And it's much faster. So um, and that's just X here will be 9.0. And now since this is 9.0, then the whole thing here will be, this part right here will be 18.0. And therefore the area of this triangle here will be base, which is 18. 0 0.0 times height, which is 5.2 divided by two. So 
and therefore this area will be 46.8. Now the area the area of the shaded region would equal 113.3 minus 46.8. So which is the area of the whole sector altogether taking away the area of the triangle, which gives you Sixty six point five centimeters squared. And that's basically the answer for this. You see this video link that you see on my screen right now? I highly recommend you watch that video. It will help you a great deal with algebra, physics, chemistry. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.